Hello, welcome to RPG, where I take questions that you ask and maybe sometimes other common questions that I can think of, and I answer them for you. Because, you know, life is a very complicated game, so why not I just help you guys out? So if you are telling us about the game, are you a guide? Um, in a way, I guess you can say I'm a guide, but, you know, in the end, I'm just another player who's trying to help out other players, so, yeah. Why do I hate my life? <laughs> I don't know. Get good, son. Did the game have a bunch of dinosaurs before the first player joined the game? It seems like you guys are getting it wrong. Dinosaurs and any other animals are classified as creeps. Every creep has their own special set of attacks and stats, so they're nothing like players in the game. Oh, and to answer the question, yes. The game had a bunch of dinosaurs, and they were still there after the first player joined the game, but not too long after the game came out, the devs decided to implement the Meteor Patch, which pretty much got rid of all the dinosaurs and only left their loot underground. Why do players have different relationship preferences, like they like the same gender, they like the opposite gender, or maybe both? Well, that's something many players debate about. Some say it's due to RNG during the whole character creation process, and some believe it's just preference in gameplay. Strangely enough, those people who argue about this kind of stuff are really passionate about the topic. But, eh. At the end of the day, it's their playthrough. What makes you decide how someone should play the game? This game is an open world RPG. You can do whatever you want. You don't grief when you like an intelligent build while another person likes a strength build, right? Are or were there any hackers in this game? Well, to my knowledge, no. But there have been rumors about two players who were so good at the game that it seemed like they were hacking. Whether they were actually hacking or not is completely up to you to decide. The first player goes by the name of Jesus. Players have said that he had godly crafting skills, able to turn water into wine without any other items for crafting. He was also able to get rid of debuffs that are otherwise permanent, like blindness. And he was also able to break the limits of the game like walking on water and, get this, reviving players. As you can see, people had every reason to think he was hacking. And then we have the second player. She showed up in the game not too long ago actually. Being amazing at PvE and PvP, I've been told that she can one hit kill any enemy. Also, she put so many points into her stealth skill tree that nobody can see her. Her strength is so high that she can use her throwing skill and throw something so far that apparently it breaks the limbs of the game. And that player's name is... The Legend 27. Have all the items been in the game the entire time, or do new items get added into the game after every new update? Well, it's with each update new items are added into the game. But sadly, life doesn't provide a list of items that get added in, so we kind of just have to discover them ourselves. In order to discover items, many points have to be put into the research skill tree and the crafting skill tree. So, if you want to be the first to discover an item that hasn't been discovered yet, make sure to invest in those trees. Why can't we play a video game in a video game? Well, more technically, they're called mini video games, which is a subcategory of mini games, but eh, however you want to call it is up to you. Ever heard of immersion? For any game, immersion is very important. Unsurprisingly, life is a very immersive game, able to make you feel like you are a part of the game. A part of this world, just things you do on a daily basis. Games within games have to be added in to give this world a bit more depth, so that's why there are many video games. Is it okay if my mom whips me when she's mad? Ah, good times, good times. You may not realize it, but she's actually helping you. By whipping you, she is actually helping you increase your constitution. And having high constitution will really help you out in the game. So, it's actually a good thing. I wish my mom would whip me again. Hey! Mom! Mom! Can you whip me? Sure thing, son! Harder, mom! Harder! Why do you have to study to be a higher level? Uh, I'm not exactly getting the question that you're trying to ask. What kind of level are you talking about? If you're talking about general levels, then you don't really need to do anything. Like Overwatch, that level just shows how long you've been playing the game. 
but if you're talking about skill levels, then yeah, some skills involve the act of studying in order to level them up, but not all. So if you want to level up your, say, your punching skills, then all you have to do is just keep using the same skill over and over again. Eventually, you'll get it to level up. Do you know if we can see the developers in-game? If so, what's their username? To my knowledge, nope. But I have heard of players claiming that they have seen the developers in-game. One example is a player that goes by the name of Moses. He claimed that he talked to one of the developers and apparently that dev gave himself the username of God. <sighs> How pretentious. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to say, I really enjoyed the questions you guys are asking. But sadly, that's all the questions I chose for this video, so... If you have questions you want to ask, make sure to leave it down in the comments with the hashtag RPG. Until then, good luck and have fun. Alright, now it's time for Put Me Time! God is the cookie and I am the cookie monster. Honey girl! <laughs> sure, I don't see why not. This is just a one time thing, guys, okay? Don't expect me to do this again. Oh, I noticed you. And you're gonna do absolutely nothing. Not even comment on this. Don't even comment on this video. And finally, saving the best for last. <laughs> I love this. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try tweaking it a little bit. Yo, my name is Ellos. Hang with my fellows. Eating that mayo on my sandwich. Word. Thank you for this. Alright guys, if you want to ever be a part of Put Me Time, make sure to put a comment down below with the hashtag PutMe. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace.